hi people how you all doing welcome and welcome back to the channel it's sandra here and i'm back again with another video that hopefully is going to be interesting so this is charlie kirk bust liberals pro immigration rhetoric okay i don't know so much about what that means or what it could mean but um let us just get right into the video so you mentioned that you don't try to promote Oh boy, you've been through this. I do not promote violence. <laughs> Let's talk about ICE. Let's talk, sure. What about ICE? Don't you like? Not violent. Okay, looking it up on the news is not evidence. Then what is? Thank. I actually enjoyed the conversation. Thank you. Sorry, go ahead. Can you come to the middle? I don't like talking to this side. So, so do you want to tell me why I like, I'll tell you why I like ICE. They're the number one agency that goes after child sex trafficking. Number one. They arrest tens of thousands of child sex traffickers every single year. They also go after MS-13. They also go after terrorists that are here in the country domestically. ICE was formed after 9-11 to go after international threats that are here domestically. That's why they're called Immigration Customs and Enforcement. They get such a bad rap and you actually meet with the agents, and you see what they do every single day, it's pretty extraordinary work. Now, they do go after people that have visa overstays. It has nothing to do with race. An illegal immigrant is not a race. Most of the visa overstays are people from Hungary or from Indonesia or from Japan. If you are here illegally, you should not be here despite your race. The immigration debate is, is demagogued by politicians by being a racial issue. It's nothing to do with race and everything to do with the rule of law. Do this, but inherently it okay, why? Because the, the immigrants are so many of the media targeted, right? Yeah. No, and and okay. I think I think what's being said and like what I've definitely heard is like I I've heard, like this civil discourse is exactly what you're wanting and that's exactly so, what we um, need to have on campuses is conversation from all sides and being heard in representation. But also it's just kind of contradictory to what you were saying earlier that you're like, oh, I believe in love and support for everyone. And like, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say I disagree with everything you said, but like, I get it, the child sex traffickers yeah. going after them. That's awesome, that's great. But then also, if you support love and like yes. wanting to hear from everything like you're saying, you're also supporting the corporation that tears families apart from their kids and keeps them yeah. in dog kennels. N not a yeah. corporation. And I do encourage you to visit an ICE facility. They are- they oh. They, okay, they, yeah. they, first of all, they don't, the, the dog kennel thing is completely and totally untrue. Let me just, it's, okay, it's, wait, 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 I've stop. seen it firsthand. You, he's been the one. Okay, it, it's just not also, even close to being also, true. it's also, if you go to one and you're like, hey, I'm coming to visit, it's just like when well, a health let. inspector comes to a company, you clean it up, right? Oh. You put it away. You put it, you put it in the Yeah, like, so no, like, I, I definitely, do. again, I am a registered Republican. I, no, I, know, exactly I know exactly what's going on. I've heard these arguments yeah. and I know what you're saying. But, uh, let me tell you about, just real quick, I understand that it's hard to see children being separated from their parents. No one wants to see that. But do you understand that a majority of these children do not want them? And that will patch and release program actually put people that were trying to come here to just seek work in more danger. And if we could actually fix the immigration problems together, then we could get more people here with them so that safe. I fail to like really understand what the conversation is about. So that's more like you with the patriarchy. Like what are what are they um debating about? What is exactly are they trying to solve? Do they want do they want people who offend the law? Do they want they and the kids to be taken to prison? Would that be better? I don't quite, I don't quite get what like they wanted, okay? I mean, I get what they're saying. The whole thing is so sad, it's so emotional. You know, being separated from um, your children, being separated from the, the other part of your family, it's, it's, it's sad, but that is life. It's sad. Trust me, it's, it's it's horrifying. I wish there was a sustainable way for for things like that not to happen. But the thing is, based on what they were saying, it seems like they fail to realize that it's not just in one. It's not just it's not just only immigrants. It really is about anyone who offends the law. 
and you so happen to be a parent or you so happen to have a family you offended the lord so you are gonna face it or are they saying that people who offended the lord should be forgiven because they have a family or the family should take the fall because their their parents you know did something illegal like i couldn't quite catch what exactly they were really, like aiming at you know i couldn't quite catch it to be honest but um i guess like i'm open to understanding them more i don't know i feel like this is one of the videos I would, <laughs> because I, I don't know what they think the result is but i'm trying out this question to you guys what do you guys think about this debate what do you guys think about um the cause that they are debating for and what do you think a sustainable resolve can be where you know every party is going to be happy every party is going to be together and there would also be a separation from criminals and innocent people okay and someone being a criminal doesn't necessarily mean the person like hurt people in order to be a criminal okay there like if you just disobey the law if you go against the law and even overstaying your 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 welcome overstaying your visa um time period is 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 also an offense to the law so let me know what you all think about this down in the comment box please do share your opinions and your thoughts and subscribe like share and i'll do all of that good stuff if you get to do that and you know that you do enjoy videos as such i'm really gonna appreciate it but upon to the very next one people let us keep on staying safe and healthy so bye